So welcome to On The Couch with Tony and Nikki this week. And we have a very great um, example for you this week because we're running a coaching event. We do coaching events here. We teach uh, people how to be relationship coaches or we take coaches that are already great coaches and teach them how to be unbelievable, what we call world-class relationship coaches. And um, today we just thought we have to share with you this because something came up which was really remarkable. Yeah, because well, actually, one of the interesting things about teaching people to coach is, of course, there are so many different skills that you can use and so many different things that will make a great coach. But one of the fundamentals is that really, as a coach, you need to have sorted your own stuff out so that when you take when you go into a coaching session, that you don't um, bring that to the table. So you don't bring your issues or your model of the world to the table. So we've had some amazing people here this week, and they really um, put themselves forward to say okay whilst we're training I'm going to get my own stuff sorted out so uh, yeah, we're some great that's examples a, of coming. we're actually saying that's like a prerequisite of being a world class coach you, look, you can be in any old ordinary coach but if you really want to help people with relationships you need to be in this great place yes. so we had two, um, two uh, guys and two girls that we were specifically working with today and it was like unbelievable uh, what happened and we thought we're going to have to share that with you tonight Such so from the two guy's viewpoint they suffered from a, a sort of an emotionality about them which m- nearly every human being has it's sort of said that well over 90 percent of humans um, have an emotionality about them that's not healthy yeah so these guys have got very common ones but they had no clue what it was costing them in their relationships they're both in a relationship not with people that are here they've actually come on their own which is great and uh, one of the guys had a very common one which is the uh, this sort of what he describes as a fear of rejection now how many men out there pop your hands up fearful of being rejected now of course what we did is we dug deep to find out where that came from and of course like all emotional negative emotionality it comes it's deep rooted in your past and we dug deep and found out you know this all happened when he was six years old and it was his mum and dad and you know this situation occurred and and he felt rejected and since that day there's been a pattern of rejection through his life which is it didn't really realize yeah Yeah, because of course one of the really interesting things is what we do as human beings is when we've had something happen which you know as tony said pretty much everybody has had something happen in their early uh, early childhood is that when then once something happens that's similar to it um as uh, as we grow up and as we go into our adult life we have something happen that's similar to it so this guy was getting rejected by women or, or or whoever and what we do is we have the same reaction come up to it as we did when we were little yeah and so and we don't understand why we have such an overreaction to it but that's obviously has its consequences in relationships. Yeah, he, he's certainly having current challenges with his current girlfriend mm. because of this problem, yeah? So first we dug in there and started rooting around and saying, okay, what's this all about? What, you know, because the thing is, it's not real, is it? You know, what happened to him when he's six? He's now uh, 38, I think he says. So it's yeah. like 32 years ago this happened to him, but he's still getting the same experience over and over and over again. And running his path, which is when this happens to him, he gets quite angry, yeah? So yeah. anyway, we dealt with all that and the other guy interestingly in his childhood situation uh, felt that he he hated he hated conflict so he was a very good boy when he was a little boy so that he moved away from conflict and now in his quite long-term relationship he's quite fearful of conflict with his wife so it's like what could we do to dig in and see if we could solve that challenge now the two girls yeah it's really interesting we had um we have one girl who is absolutely again you know we've we've dug down into the childhood and found out that actually you know what had happened for her was that she had a father who who really wanted to you know um have the sort of have the success that you might you know you might think comes from a son and um really wanted her to be a really high achiever and felt and you know she felt like which is very common as well when she's felt like she didn't feel like she was lovable if she was just going to be her feminine creative self she had to be a you know a high achiever so what that meant is that as she went on in, in, in life that she always felt that she had to be an achiever or she had to be perfect in intimate relationships which actually meant that two things were happening one was that she just didn't feel she was good enough and secondly was that the consequences of that was that she had a very low standard 
for what she expected from a relationship. Mm. So uh, what was happening was that she's getting into very dysfunctional relationships where people were not available to her or, you know, things were happening like that. And she was going, well, yeah, but it's some kind of, I'm getting some kind of connection, probably some kind of approval as well. Okay, and the other young and lady? And the young lady um, is in a long, long-term relationship. And um, I'm just thinking about the session. I don't think we actually rooted down into the childhood. Not we yet. Certainly, She's on tomorrow. She, as that's as true, I know, that's yeah. true. But what we have found out already is how that shows up. And how that shows up is that she's constantly fast-forwarding, actually, which is interesting. And we'll obviously find out tomorrow what, why that is. But we, she's fast-forwarding. And when she's fast-forwarding, she's seeing the future as worse than. She's seeing the future as whatever she wants to do. For example, in her situation, she actually is leaving a 20-year relationship and she's made the decision to leave, but every time she thinks about leaving, she sees the future and she sees this affecting her children. She sees accepting her husband. She sees everything. She sees herself, you know, destitute. She sees herself in a in a in bad space. And that's her pattern that she's running. Yeah. So what what do we do in these situations? Well, the one minute thing is is this really in one minute we can tell you what we did to help solve this challenge for these people and they're all going well the exception with the girl that's tomorrow but she had, <laughs> she saw the magic happen today for the others and with the guys what we taught them is simply this is firstly if you can find a way to overcome that which we did by coaching them yeah so you overcome the emotional coming up so we put them in a situation where the emotionality came up and then we taught them how to move towards it instead of running away from it yeah because nearly all men either run away from it there's a high percentage to run away and the rest will get angry and stand there and and actually fear, make their woman terrified yeah mm. so we taught these guys with the girls how to do this and it was like absolute was magic just yeah. amazing and, and actually with both of the women we taught the women how to be okay with speaking their truth but not from a fearful space from an actual place where you know they were not in they were not actually in a place of that they of danger this is an irrational fear that mm. comes up for many many women where they get vulnerable and they feel fearful and we were explain you know showing them how to speak their truth and actually of course that was good because the men kind of didn't get mixed messages of this kind of fearful woman they got a, a woman who was speaking her truth and of course the men moving towards the women were handling the women in a way that was amazing. I mean, it was just yeah. incredible to see. You know, these people are obviously not in a relationship because they're in relationships away from this uh, coaching event. Oh, and to see the connection between men and women when the fear has gone and when they've learned to dealt with the kind of emotionality that's showing up for both men and women that, and giving them the consequences that they were mm. getting in the past. So that's it, really. There you go. That's uh, TNTV on the couch this week with Tony and Nikki sharing the magic of having relationship coaching. And if you yes. want to be a relationship coach, you know, that's even better because you have to, you know, really work on you first before you can be a great coach. And that's what's happening for Or if guys, you yeah. want some coaching on your relationship, you know, we really have some very talented coaches in our team, don't we? And, you know, they're here ready to help you. If you need anything, let us know. Yes, indeed. So uh, that's it for this week from myself, Tony B, and my beautiful wife. <laughs> Thank you. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye. Bye.